Transformers are shipped in pairs from Ellesmere Port in Cheshire via a coaster, and the vessel is manoeuvred into position on the quayside to be secured by stevedores prior to unloading. To remove the Transformers from the hold of the coaster, the giant Sirens DMAC TC3200 mobile crane is positioned for the lifts on the quayside, according to a predetermined radius. The base unit of the DMAC has a total length of 18 metres, a width of 3 metres, distributing a weight of 84 tonnes across 7 axles. The superlift train counterweight system are attached to the backmast via four pendant wires. The individual weights vary in size from 10 to 20 tons, stacked vertically upon the train. Four large wire strops are attached by riggers to dedicated lifting nubs, situated on each side of the transformer. The area is cleared of all remaining personnel before the lifting sequence commences. To complete the lift, the 42 metre main boom is used in conjunction with the 30 metre backmast. The crane has the capacity to lift objects of up to 800 tonnes, utilising a variety of boom, backmast and superlift counterweight combinations. A second mobile crane, much smaller in size, assists the construction of a superlift train. 250 tonnes of counterweight is positioned to counter the balance of the weight of the transformer on the crane throughout the lifting cycle. slowly raises the super train. And the movement of the load through the predetermined radius begins. Sirens UK Limited provide heavy lifting capability to clients on a worldwide basis, having more than 30 years UK experience within this field. Their particular area of specialism is in the provision of the largest strut boom cranes available in the UK, mainly to clients in the petrochemical industry, from the heavy cranes division located in Middlesbrough. This particular DMAC TC3200 has an impressive track record, providing the lifting capability for the positioning and fixing of 12 masts, which made up the superstructure of the Millennium Dome project in the late 1990s. A six-month contract was also undertaken in Poland to rebuild the blast furnace with this particular crane. Rotation through the radius is almost complete. The Fan Goliath unit powers the Nicholas built Alstom A100 frame trainer onto the key side, which is gradually manoeuvred into the lifting radius of the crane by the steersman. The position of the main boom is slightly adjusted. The frame trailer is gradually positioned under the load by Alstom. form is lowered for a test alignment over the girder frame. The frame trailer requires further alignment within the radius to accept the load correctly onto the supporting beams. And the transformer makes its final descent upon the frame trailer beams. The load is steadily guided onto the wooden chocks as the lifting of the second transformer is concluded. The personnel make final adjustments to the positioning of the transformer by hand and the load is aligned and lowered onto the protective chocks located on the beams. The large drops are removed from the loads and the load is fully prepared for transportation by road. The load is reversed from the key side and positioned at the main gate to await the police escort. The DMAG TC3200 was situated on the key side on standby over the next seven days. The awaiting police vehicles are escorted away from the confines of the Orleans port and out into the A161 initiate the transportation to keep the gun station. The load follows a set route from the port gates via Rawcliffe Road, eventually heading onto the M62 at Junction 34.
as the load progresses onto the M18 from the Junction 34 intersection, the load encounters obstacles further along the route at Thorne in South Yorkshire, where the outside lane is cordoned off with traffic cones to form a chicane during barrier repairs. Proceeding along the 18 in an easterly direction, Two found Goliath tractor units reverse the frame trailer for approximately one kilometre along the A161, crossing the Kroll flyover road bridge. Entering the small village of Eland, the load is reversed using one efficient movement to negotiate the narrow streets. the old route to keep the power station, known locally as Bonnie Hale, to eventually negotiate the entrance to the national grid enclosure. Now the final destination has been reached, the frame trailer is split to allow the transformer to be turned and winched into position. 